Today, a group of firefighters and some EMTs got some high praise for saving not one, but two young lives. A fire broke out at a home on Ellsworth on Detroit's west side in March. A mom and two kids got out, but two others were trapped inside. And as Nick Monticelli reports, today we learned how the other two were rescued. This is one of those silent hero kind of stories. This house caught fire overnight, almost around midnight. Not a whole lot of people knew about it, but the two firefighters that saved lives, they certainly should be commended because they kicked in doors, got to the second floor, and saved two kids. The awards handed out today might mean the most of all awards given because they're not just for extraordinary work, there for saving lives. More smoke than anything. It wasn't that much fire, but it was pretty filled up with smoke. Firefighter Eric Jones, the second, was the first to go into this home, knowing two little ones were trapped upstairs. The mom crying and screaming on the sidewalk. I mean, I had no other choice uh, to go up there. Key is to stay calm. I know it sounds cliche, but you got, you got to stay calm. Jamal West was right behind him. You couldn't see him. I, I just crawled my way through, felt fell through everything and I just came across them. Jones found a little boy not breathing, not moving. And then Jamal found an infant girl. Well, the key was to stay low to the ground and search and feel out for him. And eventually we found them. Both were pretty bad off. Neither seemed to be alive. So they ran out and got them to EMT Kirk DeWazic. I'm a father to myself and even if I wasn't, you can't help but get a little more riled up when it's a kid. I mean, they're new, they're innocent. They you know, they need help. By the time we got to the hospital, one was responding much better than initially. Uh, the other one slightly more, still not where we wanted him, but it was it was looking all right for uh, for us at least. It's a great privilege to be a part of something like that and to be able to help someone. He's the best villain in the world. This piece of paper is just, you know, what it is, but to see them, uh, that they get to see another day is great. On Detroit's West Side, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.